I have about 30 follow-ups, but this is a town hall, not an interview. So I'm going to go uh, to tax reform, um, which is obviously a big challenge facing you and uh, the Congress when lawmakers return to Washington in September. And the next question comes from uh, Katie Verzal, uh, who serves as the secretary for the Kenosha Republican Party. Katie. Hello. I think we can agree the U.S. tax code is complicated, burdensome, and unfair to individuals and businesses alike. You have recently vowed to tackle the tax code in 2017, an overhaul. Uh, how are you working with the Senate and the White House to make sure what happened to the promises of the Obamacare repeal yeah, that's a good question. doesn't happen to the promise of tax reform? I'd say a number of things. Uh, this is one of the things that we ran on, one of the main items that we ran on uh, in 2016. So we ran for this on, as our election, the House, the Senate, and the White House. And so this is something we have to make good on. That's point number one. Point number two, I believe it's going to be far easier for us to do tax reform than it was, say, for health care reform. It gets a little weedy, but one of the challenges we had with health care reform, particularly in the Senate, is we had to use the Senate rules to write that bill. And all the health care reform items that we want to put in a health care reform bill, we couldn't because of these Senate rules. Um, medical liability reform, interstate shopping, we couldn't put those things in this health care bill because of the Senate rules. Tax reform is different. The entire tax cut bill, the entire tax reform bill can go into one bill through the House and the Senate. So procedurally, it makes it much easier. Here's the other point I'd say. If we keep taxing our job creators, our businesses, at much, much higher tax rates than our foreign competitors tax theirs, we're going to lose. We're going to lose in global competition. I was just meeting with a father-son business. In my, I was doing office hours in Janesville today. I met with a father-son business in down in South Central Wisconsin. I don't want to tell their names because I don't want to you know, get, them, get them grief. But down in Genoa City, they have an electric, electricity business. They make electrical parts for Snap-on and for other, other companies. Their biggest competitor is Canada, a com company in Canada. Their tax rate, their corporation, small business, 35%. You know what the Canadian tax rate is? 15%. Eight out of ten businesses in America file their taxes as people, as individuals. We call them like subchapter S corporations, LLC. Their top effective tax rate is 44.6%. Canadians are at 15%. The Irish are 12.5%. China, 25 The average tax rate on businesses in the industrialized world is 22.5%. And we are taxing American businesses 35 to almost 45%. That is a recipe for disaster. At, at, at worst, if they are successful enough to make money by selling a product overseas, they can't bring their money back because of our tax laws. And so what's happening is we're losing American businesses. The biggest business we had in Wisconsin, publicly traded, was Johnson Controls. Um, it, the, the, the thermostat here is probably a Johnson Controls thermostat. They are now an Irish company. Their worldwide tax rate is 12.5%. They're not an American company anymore. We're losing businesses left and right, and this is among the reasons why we have to have fundamental tax reform. But also, it's a matter of economic growth. It's, it's faster wages, but it's also it's fairness. What we're proposing on the individual side is get rid of the loopholes, get rid of the carve-outs, just lower people's tax rates. Let you keep more of your own money. And simplify the code so much that you can fill out your taxes on a postcard. You don't have to go to some, you know, accountant to try and do it all. We want a tax code built for growth, built for economic activity. We want a tax code that raises wages, keeps American companies in America, gives us faster economic growth. We haven't hit 3% growth since before the last recession in 2008. So that is one of the reasons why we're not getting the kind of take-home pay that we should be getting as people. And we believe regulatory relief and tax cuts, tax reform, is the secret to getting faster economic growth. And so that is why we are committed to getting this done this year. Getting it done this year, it hasn't been done since the year I got my driver's license, 1986. And so it is high time we fix this mess of a tax code and get ourselves in a position where American businesses, it makes sense to stay American, and we tax our businesses in a competitive way so they're not, we're not pushing them away.